Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you felt convinced that you have no other options? I certainly have. Quite often, in fact, it's a thought I heard quite a lot from people, claiming they have no choice due to this or that. But is this true? Are our decisions truly limited to a single path? Let me tell you. There was a time when I used to perceive life decisions as binary, a yes or no scenario. However, my perspective has evolved. Life, I now believe, is more like a formula, offering varied choices with different outcomes, each carrying its own value. In essence, we should have more than one choice. But please, don't misunderstand me. I acknowledge that there are situations, undoubtedly, that are very extreme, and we may feel limited about what to do. Back in autumn 2021, I started my YouTube channel with the intention of sharing my slow, relaxing moments. Initially, it was about finding comfort and possibly helping others in the process. But soon, my purpose shifted. The desire for rapid growth and financial gain overshadowed the joy of creating content. I found myself trapped in a loop of stress and frustration. One key moment. Was a conversation with my best friend. She shared a simple truth that took me two years to fully grasp. She said, "Fu, YouTube doesn't have to be your sole source of income beside your main job." Honestly, looking back, it was as obvious as one plus one equals two. Yet my focus on problem blinded me. I underestimated my capability. Continually questioning, what else can I do? I had locked myself into the idea that YouTube was my only way out. And as the year turned into two, nothing changed. Sadly, I have a flower. Look at it. <laughs> My channel, even Instagram, stagnated, and my job yeah, remained stressful. One. I was trapped in a cycle of doubt, putting undue pressure on YouTube to be the solution to my unhappiness. Unfortunately, as a result, a hobby turned into a burden. However, that moment at the Muji store I used to mention in other video, watching ceramic artists triggered a thought about how people embark on the journey of selling things. We often witness the common narrative of individuals gaining social media fame, quitting their jobs, and starting businesses. While this path is prevalent, doesn't mean it's right fit for everyone. Including me. Reflecting on my aunt's life, 
who spent her entire lifetime selling a traditional market, raising my two cousins into two fine, lovely ladies, made me question why things should be different now. Social media undeniably influenced modern marketing, but the fundamentals should remain. You know, after finally understanding what Vi, my best friend, tried to tell me that long ago, I decided to start my small business. So I started selling at conventions and freelancing as an artist part time. It allowed me to put down the burden I had placed on YouTube as my only solution. As you can see, I'm currently in the process of designing one of my products, getting it ready for the next market and preparing for the launch of my online shop soon. Originally, I wanted to create a large watercolor illustration of this beach house, but with my schedule overwhelming me, I've decided to save that project for later. This beach house holds a special meaning. It represents my tiny apartment in Berlin where I resided with my cat, Momo, over the last two years. For those new to this channel, Momo means beach in Japanese. Oh, here she is. So cute, right? If you take a closer look at the interior of the room, you will find my table, a single bed, a small sink with a rice cooker on top, a faithful companion since I moved to Europe. And above the rice cooker hangs a painting. Do you recognize it? Yes. Is the beach painting that I created a while ago. So, I'm currently at the stage that I need to prepare the file to send over to a manufacturer for production. This step is very crucial to ensure they understand exactly how I want it to turn out and to avoid too many corrections and feedback later you know, which could significantly delay the production process. Oh, I forgot to mention earlier, this is a shaker keychain that includes three tiny pieces of characters inside. Momo, the bird she communicates with through the window, and the chunky bee. Pictures arrived. Are you excited to unbox with me?
this looks so good. I'm really happy how it turned out. To be honest, um, this is actually my second package. The first one came a while ago, but I wasn't pleased with the color. It was much darker than the painting. I had to modify the color a little bit and then order a new batch of production. This is the one that just arrived. Also, including two other designs I make with the same theme, a pumpkin and an acorn house. Okay, so that's it for today. I'm happy that you stay along to the end with me. I hope my journey is giving you some inspiration as well. I may not be the successful, famous, or the talented one, but it doesn't matter. Now, I have returned to the channel with the simplest mindset ever. Enjoy my life on my own terms. And finally, I have the confidence to introduce myself to you properly. Hi there, I'm Fu. I'm 31, and my journey had just begun. <laughs>